Nayam, I believe that's how you pronounce it, Nayam has just updated his uh, ATV experience to version 2B. So I just installed it and set up some of my apps on it. Um, so I was going to give you a little brief overview. Now this one is running on my $40 box. This was the next box A95X Pro, which uses the Amlogic S905W. It's not a very powerful uh, SOC system on a chip, but it does play pretty well. It plays everything except for uh, 4K. It only goes up to 30 frames per second uh, versus a uh, 4K of 40, uh, 60 frames per second. So other than that, it's not too bad. Now there's a couple things that I killed this box. It came with a software that had uh, level one on it so I could get Netflix and HD. Uh, when I killed the box by putting Super SU, uh, it should not have wiped out the keys. But anyway, I'm using this this one created by Nayam and his crew, the AT, uh, ATV Experience crew. Uh, they've done a very, very good job. So they did it from ground the ground up. So enough of my rattling. Okay, that's what it looks like. Uh, the HD Home Run plays very well. Now, for whatever reason, originally, with the original firmware, I was getting uh, uh, high-definition audio. Uh, but this uh, firmware that I'm running now, I do not get the HD audio out of it. So, uh, that's still going to be worked on. But everything else seems to be working pretty doggone good. It's not really fast. It's, but for $40, it's not bad. Netflix, again... This one only gives me, since I've lost my uh, white vine level um, level 1, it'll only play in 480p, which is DVD quality. But uh, the upscale on my 4T, uh, 4K TV is pretty good, so it looks very good even in the DVD quality. Uh, YouTube, now there again, that will play in 4K video, so no problem there. So again, YouTube will play in 4K. Netflix will only play in DVD quality on my box here. Uh, MB. MB plays very well also. The cast and crew. I don't know if everybody's familiar with MB, but that's what it looks like. And let's cast the crew. I'm going to resume playing. Now, MD takes a, a couple seconds to actually start playing. It loads. I guess it must be buffering. Don't know why. So, now there again, that was playing in Adobe Digital instead of uh, Adobe HD. Should have been playing in high definition audio, but it doesn't. Okay, there's, uh, there's MD. Plex, basically same thing, uh, different eye candy, reviews, uh, related movies, now this one does not give you the uh, cast, so again it plays, plays very well. Now both of these, the MB and the Plex server, those are running on my uh, little micro PC, my Vorky V1 I believe it is, maybe it's V2, but it's a Windows 10 computer, so that's the server that I'm running, it's uh, got these. All my media is stored on a couple different NASs i got, network uh, storage devices, so that's where my media is coming from. Uh, live channels, I'll show you that one. And that's, that will come built into, I believe, I believe Android 6.0, but maybe it came with 7.0. But it's a uh, standard, uh, um, to say stock, uh, um, it's a stock application that comes with the OS, the operating system. Uh, Airscreen, Airscreen, now that one... This doesn't have Chromecast, but what it does do, 
it will stream whatever is on your phone. So what I got to do, go to my phone, go to my home app, and cast stream. Okay, there's my stream. Okay, so I'm casting that on my screen. Uh, if I want to uh, cast uh, YouTube or whatever from here, it'll do it. Okay, there we go. There we are. Okay, I just cast it from my uh, phone. Okay, I just cut it off. Okay, that's the casting screen. So that works. Let's see what else we've got. Okay, we've covered the casting screen. Cody, there again, Cody plays pretty well. Again, I do not get no HD audio. Uh, the box is capable of it. The original firmware played HD audio, but this one doesn't, so... It's something in the firmware, that, but the creator of this operating system, uh, the ATV Experience, he is going to purchase one of these boxes that I've got, and I'm sure he will make everything work the way it should work. So, but anyway, that's the that's your uh, Cody, and I'm sure everybody's probably familiar with the Cody. Okay, Chrome, that's your browser, that works pretty good. Now what I use on that one, I use this here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I use my uh, Re mini keyboard. That works pretty doggone good for us uh, uh, typing everything in there, so that works good. Google Play Store, obviously, and well, we'll go ahead and open that up, give you a brief, brief tour of that. Now, they only offer a limited amount of applications. These are specifically made for the lean back launcher, the, what they call a 10 foot rule, whatever that is. But anyway, uh, these apps were uh, made specifically for this screen right here. It's not a touch screen. It's for using a, a regular remote sitting on your couch. Aptoid. Now the, the apps that uh, Google Play does not have, the Play Store does not have, the Aptoid will. Okay. So this is where you get any app that you want. Just go up there and do a search for it and install it. So that gives you the particular apps you want. Okay, now, if you install them from this Aptoid store, they will not show up on your launcher here. So, you got this TV app repo. This one on the very end right there. What that does, it creates a shortcut so they will pop up onto here. Let's see if I've downloaded some apps that I haven't done yet. Okay, oh, this one right here. Okay, this is my uh, camera for outside. That's my DVR, so I'm going to create a shortcut. Please wait up to 20 seconds. So it'll take a couple seconds. Okay, go over to install. Done. Okay, so I'm going to back out of here now. Now, if I go over here, there it is right there. It just created a shortcut. So I'm going to move that probably over here. Now I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Now what, again, what this is, that is my cameras. Now this you will have to use uh, a mouse or an air mouse or a mouse or whatever because this is uh, not made for the lean back launcher. So that's my cameras.
Okay, I just use my remote there to get into it, get out of it, so you don't need anything special for that. Alright, uh, DS Video, that's another me uh, media player. Again, it uses the um, uh, it uses the data to store all my Synology NAS. And that's where my media is, so uh, that's what it looks like. Unknown error. Okay, it's not playing that one. But this is one stored on my device, or stored on my NAS. Don't know why I didn't play it, but I'll look at that later. Uh, again, I just got this installed about an hour or so ago. I used the um, uh, USB tool, burn tool. So I connect the box to my computer, use the burn tool, and install this firmware. So I think that's pretty much, I showed you everything that uh, we've got. And there's the apps. About. ATV experience. Okay, now this one here is where you get your uh, um, build, okay, developer. If you click that a few times, you get the developer option. Okay, this one does not have Bluetooth built in, so. All right, that's it. You just had your uh, 55 cent tour. It used to be 50 cent, but now it's 55. That's inflation. So you just had your 55 cent tour of this new updated firmware that uh, Nayam, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, and his crew at ATV Experience created. So, thank you. Okay, I forgot to include the most important tidbit of all, and that is the voice control. What time is it? It's 12.45. Show me the cast of Green Acres. Tell me about Eddie Albert. Here is some information about Eddie Albert. Open YouTube. Open Netflix. Okay, so that's what it can do. It can do a lot of stuff. It can control my lighting, it can control whatever I've got. For instance, turn on my ceiling light. Okay, turning the ceiling light on. Turn my ceiling light to 20%. Sure, setting the ceiling light brightness to 20%. Turn my ceiling light off. You got it, turning off the ceiling light. Okay, that's it, that's what I want to show you. This box can do almost anything. And again, this is another one of them $40 boxes. But it, the power, the CPU, the SOC is not that powerful, but for a media player, it's working very, very well. So these boxes have come a long way in the last four or five years. So again, uh, kudos for the originator of this particular firmware, Nayam. So thank you very much, Nayam.